need for speed shift too. <clears throat> I'm gonna continue this career. I'm really enjoying this game. Um, <coughs> I've I've owned it. I think uh, the summer or maybe a few months after this game came out, I bought it, and uh, my computer couldn't run it at the time, so. I don't know, I forgot what year that was, but um, I just reinstalled it since I've been in the racing game mode. And uh, yeah, this game is awesome. Holy shit, it's a legit career mode. Um, and uh, it's kind of filling the void that uh, a set of Corsa couldn't uh, fulfill. It's set of course is just a, just a set of um, challenges. It's not really a true career mode. So um, let me put my own background music here, and then I'll start the game. Oh, yep, get my beverage. Got the game. I installed a couple mods um, just to clean up the, the gunk, the jizz as I was calling it in the last video, and um, what else, there's two mods that I installed, oh and um, got rid of the shake, uh, there's a shake after, this says one of three, hmm. oh I guess, okay, I got it. Um, yeah, let's move You're on to killing modern it. C. You're up in the modern C. There's some awesome machines coming your way. From now on, you'll get a little more bang for your buck. Bang for your buck. So I kind of wish, uh, one thing that I noticed right away is that you level up really fast. So I think it was one game session, and I'm already at 8%, basically 10%. So it feels like it's going to go by really fast. So if there were, um, see right here, it's one of three events. So three, I guess I would call them competitions <coughs> in this level one bracket. I think it should have been like 10 or 15, maybe 20, you know, just uh, so the, the game would seem longer. Because I got a feeling, see now I have 30 grand so I can go ahead and buy a new car um, so I don't really feel like I need to upgrade that Civic but this is like my game design philosophy talking I uh, I could do something else uh, yeah that's just me talking about uh, from a game design standpoint but the game is good as is I'm gonna continue playing it uh, let's do Donington in the Lotus, yeah, let's do the Lotus. Oh, and it crashed. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's what I was afraid of, that the game would crash with uh, some of these mods. Um, let me start it up again. So yeah, I don't know, uh, some games you have to uh, restart your whole career when you install some mods. And um, I don't know if this is one of those games. I'm gonna uninstall the, the milkshake. Milkshake screen. No, I don't care about your online play. Okay. I wonder if the Lotus is what's making it crash, or if it's just crashing, period. I'm just gonna try this. See if it crashes again. Yeah. Okay. I guess you get to see some debugging, because I don't feel like stopping the video. So, let me see. Where am I? 
file was. Um, which one was it? Might have been this one. Boot persistent. I think Bootflow has the. So I don't know which one this is. If this is the. Uh, the jizz or the uh, the shake. Hopefully it's the, the jizz because I don't want that. I mean, hopefully it's the shake because I don't mind the shake being on there still. So now I, uh, I wonder if there's a mod to take off this intro. It takes way really too long. And uh, also if I install this mod um, called the community uh, patch, it's going to take longer to load. So I don't know if I want to do that. But there's all kinds of fixes and it seems pretty awesome. Okay, no crash yet. Okay. Yeah, it might not crash. Yeah, okay. So yeah, it was the that one that one file. Oh let me see what it was also. Could have been no. This is the tightest Shanghai Let's circuit. See if it was the, the crash busy. or the, the gunk on the screen. Oh, it was the crash. Perfect. That, I don't care for that. Oh no, it was. Oh, damn it. <laughs> ah. So, removing the jizz is a. Uh... Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. This should be right. I shouldn't, there shouldn't be any more jizz on the screen. Just the black. Okay. Yeah, whatever. That, that's fine. Okay, I was confused for a second. But yeah, I can live with that. I just can't live with the jizz on the screen. That's so dumb. Okay. Modern C. I'm drifting. I don't remember how the drifting is in this game. Yeah, come on. Let's do that. Lotus. I want to paint that Lotus, though. Car lot is the same as a uh, garage. Oh, no. These visuals. Hold on, let me look at it. What? This is my car? Holy shit, it's already a race car. Oh, cool. Well, yeah, this is my car. Uh, let me paint it. Ah, uh, why? What? I want that skin though. I just want to paint that skin. I want to tint that skin. It's not gonna let me. Cause that yellow, that yellow line with uh, the yellow line with uh, with that yellow, I mean the yellow bar with the black paint would look awesome. But yeah, I don't feel like doing all that right now. I'll just get on with this race. Donington. Oh, it crashed again, son of a bitch. 
And that's the problem with the uh, with mods for games. <clears throat> you never know which one's gonna crash the game. And that's kind of lame, cause uh. Yeah, that sucks that uh, it's gonna keep crashing, I think. Unless I restore it. And it also be could be because the game's not unpacked, so... For a better game compatibility, you have to unpack the, the files. Kinda like you would with a, a zip file or a dart raw file. That's just how it is. The nature of gaming on PC, it's gonna crash sometime. If you uh, add mods. And if it crashes again, I'm gonna take off the other one. Yeah, so you didn't crash this time. Weird, I don't. Yeah, this car looks sick. It's not a fan of the dark green. Green, that's a green light. Push, push, push. Or not that particular green. It's like a doo 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 green. I'm the only asshole with a painted car. <laughs> so he's got back from there's this guy who performs with uh well I guess it's called the Earth Harp. So what he does is he goes into a venue and he sets up his, uh, these uh, strings from the stage all the way up to a balcony or the ceiling and he calls it the earth heart because it's, it basically turns any building into a resonator for the strings. That's pretty awesome. So I went and I enjoyed it. It was free. So, uh, I enjoyed it for maybe the first 20 minutes and then it'll start the show started to turn into some like new age Christian rock sounding music and then I was like ah, that's enough of this they even did a, uh, a Pink Floyd Wish You Were Here cover and I did not like their cover at all I was like oh lord this is not that this is not my taste but I really just went to see that uh, the earth part and that's that was awesome that was that was legit it's really uh, it's really creative nobody's ever done that aside from uh, that guy the funny thing also is that i was expecting other giant instruments like a giant guitar to accompany him or a giant piano I didn't expect that. It would have been fun though. The only cloak. I'm not freaking out. Freaking painted car. Oh, I barely Amazing won. Amazing driving out there, That's man. Cool. Amazing. So announcing this game sounds like that slap train kid. <clears throat> I can only handle his videos for about 10 minutes, maybe less. 
<clears throat> Sounds like he's forcing it. He's forcing it. He's trying to be like this. Uh, it's exciting uh, broadcast, but I don't know if he was forced. That's just me. He's got a great uh, announcer voice, though. It's way more exciting than my channel. Take that mood. Let's take a look at this. Oh, the uh, the pebbles. I forgot that they had that technology. They use that in the GTR 2 also. That you see the pebbles on the ground. So uh. In GTR 2, because uh, whenever you race, the, the track is fresh, so those pebbles aren't on there yet. So whenever you start racing, those pebbles accumulate, and you can't you can't see them in GTR 2. Um, they're just there, so you would know. But the tarmac does get a uh, it gets dirtier over the time, over uh, the course of each lap. So that's how you can tell that they're there. But in this game, they actually drew the pebbles. That's awesome. Is this supposed to be like a tire shaving? Bramble brakes. I wish uh I wish track day wasn't so expensive. Um I looked up uh I looked it up a while ago. Let me see how much it costs now. But um, here in Houston, we have a um, a track outside of Houston, like in the outer the outer suburbs. It's called the uh, Mercedes Mercedes track. the extra name of it. It's called MSR Houston. Let me see how much it costs. MSR Yeah, it's uh, I, don't know, I think last time I checked it, it was about 500 bucks. I don't know. It, it seemed like it was a lot to me. It's open to memberships. Also, you have to be a member. How much is the membership? I suck. <laughs> Slipping and sliding all over the place. There's a lot of rich people in Houston, so I'm pretty sure there's a lot of douchebags that go to uh, this track with their uh, Lambos, Ferraris, and uh, Audis. Not even. There's a lot of douchebags that drive regular cars, like Mustangs and shit. Man, I hate how. Uh, People on the road will drive like a maniac to get your attention. 
Like, cause I'm whenever I'm in my GTO, there's been people who try to race me. I, I don't race. Um, I don't tree race. But there's been people who damn near killed themselves to get my attention so I could race them. Not only killed themselves, but almost killed me in the process. It's so stupid. It makes me not want a nice car, you know. But all I see is the guest, the uh, membership guest. Uh, the driving fee is 150 at the uh, MSR. But it doesn't say how much the membership is. you have to call. So yeah, I'm sure it's expensive. MSR. MSR Houston. <coughs> Eliminator, what is that? Miami. Yeah, let's go to Miami. Okay, listen up. Don't be fooled by the speed you'll pick up in the second half of the track. Curves and camera changes can throw the car off balance and the final corner is tight, so watch it. Green light! That's so has the gauge for the boost. I remember, I vaguely remember this track. I wonder if it's a real, a real track, real life course. Oh, I haven't even looked if there's a user made tracks for this, this game. There's 36 uh, actual uh, built in tracks, and then uh, a lot of them have uh, two or three variations. So. You get about 70, 60, somewhere between 60 and 70 tracks in this game. Son of a... You too. Man, cars don't care. This is a three lap race, okay. Probably make that up. After this race, I'm gonna take off the uh, the decals in the racing stripe. It's, just, it's really just the decals that make uh because the AI cars don't have anything, so it makes me feel like a douche for having all these these stickers on my car. Yo yeah, guys, look at every, look at all my parts and my sponsors. Some upgrades too. Can't catch up. This time of day on this track is really nice. Oh, 
Hopefully the sun's going behind that building over there. That's cool. That's, it. That's too bad, man. You were just plain unlucky there. Man. What? Make me feel bad, announcer guy. Still made some money and some XP. That's awesome. I do like that. You get XP and you still get money. Alright, yeah, let me mod this car now. <clears throat> the garage. Take me to the garage. Oh, I got a Mazda. Who the hell gave me this Mazda? I have no idea where that came from. Oh, it's a drift car. That's nice. Okay. Go here to A. A class. So. Let me paint this guy. Paint it all. Metallic, uh, nah, indie, bro. What the? No way. Never. <laughs> A chrome finish. Matt. Ah, uh, looks a little cheap. Flip. Hmm. Flip to black. That'd be nice. Oh, it has to be unlocked. Level 6. I'm almost there. Okay, for now... Yeah, for now, like this. It's purple. Should say in this. Why is it not installed to both? It's weird. 18s. What is this? All the rims? Just three. Okay. Let's put these on there. Mm, but you can't change the color. Was it? Was a uh... oh, it's really weird. It's kind of confusing. My way to move around this thing. Um, BBS GT. That's locked. Is that the fuck? What do I have right now? Uh, touring, DTC, touring, DTC. I don't see it. Can you start again then? DT. 
PTC. I don't see PTC. Wow, this is weird. Why don't they give you the option to uh, to put the same as the front? Start to rear. What the hell? Yeah, I don't know. It seems dumb. Uh, on the wheel it says ATS, and down here it says DTC. ATS. Here we go. ATS DTC. Okay. ATS DTC. All I had to do was hit down. Oh my goodness. That's annoying. Okay. There we go. Much better. Much better. I don't feel like a douche with all those stupid uh I have those stickers all over the car. Okay, nitrous, nah. Let's see what I can add. Quarter intake. Four. the headers mm. oh collector header yeah let's do this one also then cams mm, nah like that And you can do an engine swap. That's awesome. You should legit do anything. Swap anything. That would be legit. So this will. Okay, the pistons, yeah. Boy, that shit. Alright. Let's see. Tires, Let's lower the weight. Heat reduction. Awesome. It gives me my money back. Fiber parts, 10% reduction. Take off 94 kilograms. Yeah. Yeah, that's the way to go. Okay. Top speed 244. I need miles per hour though. Let me see if. Uh, See if there is a option for miles per hour. Yes, I'm an imperialist. Feel with it. Back to a career. Where are you? Okay. Where was I? And uh, Downingtown, I got first. Miami, I got fifth. All right, let's do this one again.
Come on, deep breath, focus, get ready. You can win this. Better this. Oh, a little cut at him. I don't know how they allow that go kart into the base. This feels a lot faster. Create the brakes also. Oh no, I'm not supposed to. I wasn't supposed to have the brakes right there. Swing it. I like all of these elevation changes in this step on this track. And this, uh, that underpass reminds me a lot of uh, Seattle in uh, Winter Reason 4. And I would love to see, I would love to see a new version of that, that course. Take oh, a he's waiting, he's been waiting the whole time. Yeah, that's not possible. There you go, that's on. That's tap. I'm really worried that I can't look back. Or maybe it's a button, mm -hmm. but. Oh, wait, no, yeah, it's a button. Yeah, I was trying to do it with the, uh, the analog. Thanks, Caterham. I will close out of that. make the podium this time. Scratch this itch, and then I'm gonna get you. Yeah. Break them all over the place. Yeah, 
do not follow that man's line. Do not follow his line. I was trying to kill somebody. Oh, you bastard. Someone just ran me from behind. Somebody just ran me from behind. Another mock ride. Let's get back to play. I do like that you can save yourself. In some of the other games I was playing, you can't save yourself if they ran me from behind. Yeah, thank you. Especially in, in grid, uh, grid 2. They tap you, it's open. I'm not sure if the, uh, the AI also scales to the performance of the car. Because I get all those updates. It feels like it because. Uh... Great driving! You nailed a podium spot! Because I didn't catch up easily. Watch that. Lotus. <laughs> I'm getting some really bad frames per second. <clears throat> also, I saw a. I guess what could potentially be a good deal on a new processor. And, uh. It's, I guess it's last generation Intel, uh, top Intel, which is a uh, 4790, I think. It's a quad core, had to do the quad core. And compared to this past year's top processor, which was a 6000 something, it had uh, pretty much the same performance on everything. So I saw that um, with. Uh, it's like a, a bare bones um, PC. Alright, I think it came with. No, it's a full cool PC, I think. It, but it's 600 bucks. And it comes with. Um, it comes with a shitty video card. That's the only thing. It's got 12 gigs of RAM, uh, Windows 10, um, what else? A terabyte hard drive. So yeah, I mean, at that price, it, it's really much. It's pretty much just. Um, it's basically a bare bones. They're just giving you stuff to turn on the computer. You know, they're expecting you. It's kind of like a bare minimum thing. They're expecting you to upgrade to whatever you want. That is awesome. Um, so yeah, I might actually do that. That might be my uh, Christmas gift to myself. And I'll stick this video card in there, which will be a. Uh, this one's a R9 270. But I'm gonna take a look at to see what a uh, Nvidia's top mid-range card. What? That was cool. Auto slow mo. <laughs> well, I'm liking this game a lot more than anything I've played in the past couple of days. This game is impressing me tremendously. Yeah, I don't even know if that's the right word. Tremendously for that. That something, but. I like the word tremendous. You get that little, little purple, pink, almost thing. I don't mean, uh, at least. It's 
That's where they got Ram me. That was before that. I don't see him ram me. I think it was right. Where was it? I think it's right there. Oh, I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna continue. But yeah, an upgrade might be happening for me before the end of the year. Yeah, I get a, <clears throat> I get frame rate drops on a set of Corsa also. What is this, Dijon? Oh, this is a cool track. A lot of these tracks were in the GTR 2 or GT Legends. So I think they just worked off what they had with. Maybe they already had the licenses. The studio might have had the license for this track. Alright, you can build up a good rhythm at this circuit, but there's a bunch of blind corners. I wonder how much the license costs for the, uh, for the track and the, uh, the car. Green light. Yeah. That's the only issue with these things. little speech in this channel but there's some awful stuff in the in a branch right now but yeah, I'm gonna try to stay off those topics this is more for uh, for everybody's enjoyment and trying to make nobody sad and shit this is for my recreation and uh, if anybody else out there enjoys it, awesome. Circuit Fusion. How do you make? Does anyone have any Dijon Premium? Oh, one of these. One of these things. Hit all the brakes. All the brakes, all the ones. This track is awesome. This was my favorite uh, track in uh, GT Legend. Because of this right here. <laughs> that up, down, left, right, up. What is that? It's a uh, up, right, down, left, up, right, down, left. Two hills. I wonder if those uh, those hills were man-made. They just uh, what was that a balloon shadow? What was that a UFO? Um, oh, I wonder if the people that that made the actual track. I wonder if uh, I'm about to. Lose. Oh, I'm gonna lose two laps. Um, I wonder if those hills were there already, and they're like, yeah, let's we can put a race track over this thing. Or if they just thought, hey, this would be a cool place to put some hills. And they just moved, started climbing on the creating these hills. Good job, man. You pulled off a podium. <clears throat> Thanks, bro. Where am I? Single exhibitions? What does that mean? Oh, that's what I just did. Get a podium in each one. Okay, that's what I did. So... The Eliminator. I don't want to do that. Sounds cheesy. One car. Um, 
It would have been nice if they showed you who you were racing against. Yeah, let me do this. Okay, I'm going to do uh, this next... I'm going to start a new video session after this episode. After this track. You can afford some speed here. The oh, first not turns night long, racing. The that follows, open and easy. Night racing is so annoying in this game. Can't see. That's the green. Come on, nail this one. Shadows are awesome though. Shadows are all over the place. Ah, great to play. Oh, I'm probably gonna get last place again. Yeah, I dropped 10 frames per second with all those cars on screen. Does anybody remember Ferrari Challenge? That's where this game came from. So, after... Like I was saying earlier, after the guys who made uh, GTR, GT Legends, after they broke apart from... Um, they broke apart from Simbin, they started slightly mad, and then they started working on this game called Ferrari. Ferrari Challenge? Let's say that third time. Anyways, um, started working on it, and it was coming right along, and I guess uh, they showed it to EA. And EA was like, cool, we wrap it up inside a Need for Speed style, and uh, we'll publish it. So that's exactly what they did. And Need for Speed Ship 1. The name for Speed Ship 1 was like a mixed bag because of that. They tried to please uh, Good two job, different man. audiences. We're on the podium. So, I guess there was some talking behind the scenes and they're just, uh, they're saying, we just told EA, let's, let us do the game how we want to do it. EA was like, okay, maybe. Oh, I got flip paint, finally. So, they said maybe, and then they even took off Need for Speed from the title and just called it Ship 2. And I think uh, towards the end, they, they put, they slapped Need for Speed back on there. Just for uh, brand recognition. Yeah, this game does not feel anything like it.
computer, get a lot of uh, the promo pictures and stuff. A lot of it, uh, a lot of the material uh, doesn't say Need for Speed anywhere. It just says uh, Shift to Unleash. Which is the perfect title, Unleash. And then, um, so I think what ended up happening was uh, they they wanted to keep patching the game, and EA said no. <laughs> EA was like, nah, we're done. And they're like, uh, but we gotta fix this, we gotta fix that. And EA was like, nope. So that's the relationship turned to shit, and they uh, they just ceased uh, working with each other. So then it's like, mad, which is like, man, screw y'all. We're gonna ask our fans to fund the next game. And that's how Project Cars was born. Same game engine. All of it is the same game engine, going back to uh, that Ferrari project. It's been slowly building it up. And I actually, I applied to be a, uh, a prop uh, artist at a Simbin and then all that stuff was happening like right before um, right before no right after GTR 2 when they were creating GTR Evolution I, uh, I applied but I live in the US so I applied and they told me that I, I passed the test because uh, they, they let you uh, they give you this modeling test for you to do so they were discussing um, like how to get me over there and stuff with me so I um, I was down to do it, but I couldn't afford it at the time. That's why I needed a job, right? So um, yeah, I didn't get to go because it's uh, it's overseas. It's in Europe, and I'm in the United States. So there's no way for that to, to be done. And my whole thing was like I was I'm, I don't want to work for EA. I'm, I'm, I mean, if they pay me now to do some sort of commission artwork, I would do it, but. To work as a to work as a developer in the game, like as a uh, artist doing whatever inside the game, like going going in their nine to five, I would not want to do that. EA treats their employees like shit. It's a giant corporation. I mean, I understand like, um, that it's hard to balance you know, things out when you are that big of a business, but. You gotta cut some people with brakes on time. Yeah, even this game, like imagine if they, if they gave a uh, slightly mad uh, two more years or three more years to develop this game. Holy shit. This would have been the best game of all time. It would have been what Project Cars is, but wrapped in this uh, Need for Speed, um, I guess, uh, tier system, the way they set up their career and the gameplay and the like, customization, paint, paint jobs, all that stuff. That would have been awesome. But uh, that's enough of uh, EA rant. Let me start a new session.